Hi. Um, good day to you all. And I hope that your day is going well. And um, Professor Salisbury, I would like to thank you very much for considering me and letting me join your course. I'm very excited to start working. And I would like to apologize for not being there uh, today. Unfortunately, I had some complications with my documents, but they will be resolved soon and I could join you. And to my classmates, I would like to say um, best of luck with the start of your classes. And I hope to meet you all very soon because, well, I'm very excited about it. You seemed like very interesting people last time. And so far, I say hi to you from Malta and I send you this video to introduce myself and I hope you like it. And then when I come back, I will meet all of you and we will have the best year. Allow me to introduce myself properly. This is my hand and this is me, allegedly. My name is Angelina Budistiano and my surname is very long. Yeah. I was lucky enough to be accepted to the MA Children's Book Illustration course, together with all of you, at Anglia Ruskin University. I was born in Moscow, which is in Russia, however, grew up in Malta, which is near Sicily, uh, that is essentially Italy. Because my family and I moved there in 1996, when I was just five years old, my mother could attend so my mother could attend the University of Malta Law and later on my parents would open a business. Malta is a lovely sunny island. It's a former British colony so everybody speaks English. It's a perfect safe place to grow up in and a fantastic holiday destination. The people are very welcoming and kind and make you feel right at home. I am a graduate of the Russian boarding school in Malta, RBSM, class of 2007 where all of the studies are aimed to bring up bilingual children that feel at home in any country, while still remembering their heritage and are developed harmoniously in several directions. Parallel to my school studies, I attended the RBSM Arts program, which included dancing, music, and arts and crafts above all, which was a ton of fun. So after graduating, I went to the MCAST Institute of Art and Design in Malta, where I completed the National Diploma course with a BTEC Triple Distinction Diploma at the top of my class of 2009. It was great. I got to do stuff like this, and this, and even that, and much more. I've worked with metal, wood, stone, textile, clay, glass, pretty much anything you can imagine. After graduating from the MCAST Art and Design course, I applied to the University of Malta and completed the foundation program in 2010, which was necessary because I am a foreigner. Studying medicine was also great because I got to wear this, be here, do this, and much much more. Also, I am in love with this guy. After that, I attended Masaryk University in Brno, Czech Republic, Faculty of Medicine and Healthcare. While studying medicine, I constantly drew and painted, and in 2010 presented my first exhibition, A Lady's World, that was held in the Russian Cultural Center in Malta and was opened by His Excellency, the President of Malta, Dr. George Abella. The exhibition featured 30 oil paintings using different techniques and textures like gold silver leaf and quartz sand and a lot of other stuff I cannot even remember now. Also, a premiere of my first children's book about a cunning dog, I saw one day, done in 3D anaglyphic images that started out as an institute project. Enclosed with each future copy of the book is planned to be a pair of 3D glasses, so you can put them on and the book comes to life. This book is soon to be launched on iTunes, and in case of success it will be actually printed and distributed, where one euro from each book will go to the Maltese Community Chest Fund. 
I also designed costumes for the annual RBSM graduation ball and the show. Every year this spectacular event, with a turnout of about 300 people, features a different theme. I worked on iconic stories like Alice in Wonderland and Wizard of Oz. Also, most recent RBSM's own story, Friends of the World, that held a hint of political because this year was when His Excellency the President of Malta, Dr. Giorgia Bella, and Mrs. Isabella graced us with their presence. And their wonderful daughter, Maria Bella Marconi, was an honor performer as she is an opera singer. In December 2011, I took maternity leave of absence from the Masaryk University as I was pregnant and came back home to Malta to have my wonderful daughter, who kind of looks like this smiley. I was due back in December 2012 to carry on with my MD studies, but this major change in my life has led me to reevaluate the possibilities and my wishes. I have realized now that becoming a surgeon would mean being away from my daughter for most of her life. And medicine is not really a field I have always wanted to be in. Now I need to put my own wishes before my parents. My ambition is to become a children's book writer, to create and illustrate good, kind, colorful books that would help children learn and grow. I believe that I will achieve great success doing it because I have the ultimate motivation and possibility to put love into what I do. Isn't that the perfect recipe for greatness? Prompted by how seemingly fast my child is growing, she is five months already and a diva, I have started the second part of what will be a series, Aristotle the Unlikely Friend. Also a totally new project of imaginative textbooks for early children's education that feature techniques of Montessori learning, Japanese abacus, and Mayan counting. I hope that these textbooks with vivid pictures will help children to see education as a fun game instead of a needed torture. I like experimenting with media and styles, but what I need to obtain is professionalism and the ability to express correctly with pictures the words of a book so children would understand them and find them interesting. That is why I am so happy to be here among so many creative people and as much renowned artists that kindly agreed to teach us what they know. I believe that we will all do well and become a worthy part of such a recognized establishment. May all of us have an amazing academic year, find great friends and most importantly find our own styles and inspirations. I thank you very much for your attention and it is a pleasure to meet all of you, well, when I do.